direct replica of your predominant thought because your mind is the seat of productive thinking. You don't outgrow how you think. Your thinking places a lead on your life. If you don't like where you are right now, change how you think. Number four, the decisions you make. Dreams reveal your future. Decisions decide your destiny. Dreams reveals your future. Decisions decide your destiny. Successful people are deliberate, meticulous, careful about the kind of decisions that they make. In actual fact, there is something we call the triangle of decision making. And if you know how a triangle looks like, the higher you go, the steeper it becomes. What that teaches you is that the higher you go in life, the more careful this you should be in making decisions. Cast. One wrong decision can set you back for a very, very serious lifetime. So it's critical that you watch the kind of financial decisions you make. Watch the kind of investment decisions that you make. It's nice to relocate from one place to the other, but even that decision must be subjected to very, very serious checkups. Otherwise, you can just make one wrong move and it lands you a in a place cast. you don't expect to be. Friend, it's important for you to know that in these difficult times, you can succeed if you will begin to be very cautious about the kind of decisions that you make in life. It's still how to succeed in these difficult times. I'll still be talking to you about this shortly after this. Of Thank you for watching this episode of Inspiration today. I'm sure that you've been inspired and perhaps you might want to ask me some questions. You want to get in touch with me to see how I can be of help to you. I'll be more than willing if you will take advantage of the number on the screen, the email address, reach out to me and I will get back to you. Until I come your way again next time on this same channel, this is Samuel saying bye-bye. This is a demonstration of Wirecast. Hello, welcome to this special episode of Inspiration Today. My name is Sam Oye. It delights my heart to come your way via this platform. You know, on this program, I'll be bringing your way powerful principles that will enable you to experience upward mobility in whatever it is that you have chosen to call your this career. Is a it is therefore important that you spend some time just to listen to this and perhaps send a text to a friend and let them know that Inspiration Today is on air. If you will have any question, any comment to make, take advantage of the numbers on the screen, get in touch with me and I will definitely get back to you. And for now, get ready because I'm bringing you something that I think you will love to know about. Please stay tuned. Someone once said, nothing works of until you make it work. And that's why I haven't talked to you about how you can succeed in these difficult times. It is critical for you to understand that having known that association is critical, who you network with matters. Number two, the kind of information you have is very, very critical. We are in the fourth industrial revolution the future now is what they call internet of this things and internet of, of everything cast. what that means is we're coming into a generation whereby everything will be wired up connected to the internet and so you have to start thinking in that dimension your thought patterns are very critical if you're going to succeed in this time you can't be thinking poor you can't have a scarcity mentality and expect to have a successful life. It's not going to work. You want to go to university, and the next thing you're telling yourself is there's no money. Is it Always thinking scarcity, and scarcity thinking puts a limitation on anybody's life. It can put a lead on your life. The first thing you put ahead is your vision. 
And if you begin to talk about your vision, I want to go to the university. I want to go for my master's. I want to go for my doctorate. If you keep talking about it and working towards it, someday the universe has a way of lining up things to make sure that dream comes to pass. I know you will look at me now, speaking to you on television, you will say, oh no, this guy's got it all together. No, you're looking at a son of a retired soldier who died just when his son was about to go to secondary school, to the university, sorry. My father died when I was about to go into the university. I had not even made my job.